Fox Carolina Weather. Weather rate certified most accurate local forecast. Well, it might feel a little chilly out on the lake, but it's a beautiful day. This Thursday has been a beauty, just cooler than normal for this time of year. Certainly this morning was a little bit of a breeze on Lake Hartwell and some showers just to the north, but we've had completely clear conditions across much of the area, and that's going to remain tonight so that temperatures will fall fast. We've got clear skies, lighter wind. That's what we call a radiational cooling night where the heat just escapes from the surface, and you'll notice temperatures fall fast as the sun goes down. 36 tonight in Spartanburg, 37 for Anderson, low 30s from Asheville to Hendersonville. So a freeze and frost expected at least we'll have a nice rebound into the afternoon with temperatures in the 60s for your Friday. A good day to get outside, but things will start to change as we head into the weekend. Notice a few clouds late Friday into early Saturday, but the main system, the storm system is going to bring us that soaker for Saturday. We'll be on our heels at 7 a.m., but morning might be your best time to get outside, get a few things done, maybe take your run, your walk, get the dog out. But because here comes the rain. I think the most widespread rain will come in the afternoon hours. And notice the swath of yellow, mainly south of I-85. That's where we're going to have some strong storm activity. And there is a potential for some severe weather. Now, good news is all of that's going to be out of here pretty fast Saturday night into Sunday. Here's a look at the severe threat. And as I mentioned, it's going to be mainly south of I-85 where you see that yellow color. But we really could see a strong storm anywhere in the upstate with this scenario. So storm potential will be Saturday afternoon. I don't think we'd see much in the morning with that initial round of rain, uh, mainly south of I-85. Damaging wind and hail will be the primary threats with any storms that get going, but we cannot rule out a tornado. You know this time of year and how that goes. A lot of dynamics with these systems, so we'll be watching all those storms closely. Now the silver lining, we'll get some much needed rain and that pollen's going to get washed off of a lot of surfaces. We'll get over two inches potentially in the southern upstate, a little less as you work your way north, but my goodness, that's going to be a big rain for us. And again, we need it. It's been a dry couple of weeks. As we go into next week, temperatures will begin to warm back up and we'll have a chance for rain once again by Thursday, but a nice stretch of weather. In fact, second half of the weekend, just absolutely gorgeous. So if you're kind of bummed about Saturday, just focus on the fact that Sunday should be very nice to get outside. Of course, you can always go to foxcarolina.com to get your latest forecast as well as a video outlook as well. Now let's get the outlook for traffic.